Welcome to the FS12 and FS14 training video. Globe slicers are designed to provide safe processing of food products. Unless the operator is adequately trained and supervised, there is a possibility of serious injury. Globe has provided this training video only as a supplement to the owner and operator instruction manual. Make sure the manual is available for easy reference by an operator. A wall chart with operating and cleaning instructions is included with a slicer. This wall chart should be posted near the slicer with an easy view of the operator. Remember, owners of this equipment bear the responsibility to ensure the equipment is used properly and safely and in accordance with any local, state, and federal law. Topics for this training session include key components of the slicer, slicer installation, operating instructions, cleaning instructions, knife sharpening, slicer maintenance, and optional accessories. The key components portion of this video is to help you become familiar with your globe slicer. Features include the carriage, where the product is held, the product holder, attached to the carriage, grips the bottom of the product, the pusher, clamps the product firmly in place, the pusher vertical slide lever, which moves the pusher up and down, the fast forward adjustment, which moves the product holder closer to the knife, the precision adjustment, for finer movement of the product holder. The indexing knob, which adjusts the slice thickness. The receiving tray, holding slice product. The slice deflector, to deflect product to the receiving area. The sharpener, stored on the slicer for convenience. The knife, designed for precision slicing. The knife guard, to reduce operator injury. And the flywheel, giving the operator slice speed control. If you have not already installed your Globe Slicer, refer to the owner's manual for proper installation instructions. Globe recommends that you clean and sanitize the slicer before using the first time. Once the slicer has been cleaned and sanitized, you are ready to begin slicing. Turn the flywheel handle clockwise in order to move the carriage to its forward position. Use the fast forward adjustment to move the product holder away from the knife. Position the food product to be sliced on the product holder. Use the pusher vertical slide lever to adjust the pusher to hold product in place. Pull the indexing knob out to the right and turn clockwise to the desired setting. Use the fast forward adjustment to move the product holder closer to the knife blade. Loosen but do not remove the top and bottom knobs on the knife guard. Use the knife guard thumb screw to lift the knife guard up and to the left of the top and bottom knife guard spacers. Tighten the top and bottom knobs on the knife guard. Turn the flywheel handle four to five times in order for the food product to touch the knife. Do not turn the flywheel counterclockwise. Serious damage to the slicer can occur. Turn the flywheel to slice the desired amount of the product. Once slicing is complete, stop turning the flywheel handle to stop the knife rotation. Close the knife guard. Loosen, but do not remove the top and bottom knobs on the knife guard. Use the knife guard thumb screw to lift the knife guard up and to the right of the top and bottom knife guard spacers. Tighten the top and bottom knobs on the knife guard. Do not leave the slicer without the knife guard closed. Serious personal injury can occur. Press the pusher vertical slide lever and lift the pusher to remove the food product from the holder. Your slicer must be disassembled, cleaned, and sanitized a minimum of every four hours. Do not hose down or pressure wash the slicer or any slicer parts. Never use a scrubber pad, steel wool, or any other abrasive material on the slicer. Use commercially available quaternary ammonium sanitizers. Use a moist, seamless cloth to clean your slicer. Make sure to always wring out excessive water before cleaning. To begin the cleaning procedure, make sure the knife guard is covering the knife. Remove the grease collection pan. Unscrew the knob to remove the product holder and the pusher. Remove the slice receiving tray. Loosen the two screws to release the slice receiving tray from the retaining clips. Place all removable parts in a sink with warm water and a mild detergent solution. Soak, clean, and thoroughly scrub all surfaces. Always clean the knife with the knife guard fitted behind it in the safety position. Clean the knife with a long-handled brush with a mild detergent and warm water solution. 
Carefully rinse the knife by wiping from the center of the knife outward. Remove, promptly clean, and reinstall the knife guard. Clean the carriage and the slicer base. Reposition the product holder. Tighten the knob on the product holder to secure it to the carriage. Install the slice receiving tray. Tighten the two screws that fasten the slice receiving tray to the retaining clips. Sanitize all parts of the slicer and allow it to air dry before use. It's important to sharpen the slicer knife every few days for approximately 10 seconds or 20 to 30 rotations to provide consistent slices and maximize food product yield. Sharpening the knife lightly every few days is more effective than heavy sharpening at less frequent intervals. Make sure both sides of the knife are clean and dry before sharpening. It's also very important to clean the stones before sharpening. Loosen the knife sharpener knob holding the knife sharpener in place. Lift the knife sharpener up and turn 180 degrees. The knife will automatically be centered between the two grinding wheels. Tighten the knife sharpener knob. Turn the flywheel handle clockwise and press the rear button to perform about 20 to 30 knife revolutions. Press the front for no more than one or two knife rotations in order to prevent the knife edge from springing back, creating a reverse burr. Stop turning the flywheel handle to stop the knife rotation. Return the sharpener to its original position. You will need to clean the slicer after the knife sharpening process in order to remove debris. The key to slicer maintenance is making sure various slicer parts are lubricated periodically using globe oil. Globe oil is a light, tasteless, odorless mineral oil that will not impact food product. The oil is available in three sizes, 4 ounce, 1 quart, and 1 gallon. A 4 ounce bottle is included with each slicer. Never use vegetable oil to lubricate the slicer. Using vegetable oil will damage the slicer. Refer to the operation manual for slicer lubrication instructions and troubleshooting guide. Globe offers optional pedestals and marble receiving trays for both flywheel slicer models. This concludes the Globe training session for the FS12 and FS14 flywheel slicers. Detailed instructions for the items reviewed in this video can be found in the owner's manual. Globe truly appreciates your business and we are confident that your new slicer will provide you with years of reliable service. For more information on Globe products, visit globefoodequip.com.